All right, well, from cats to squirrels, we keep talking about my saga with the squirrel. And, and you guys keep emailing, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Kathy emailed it, and I thought this was interesting. She said, put plastic forks and knives or spoons. Uh, and she does this in her herb pots. Like because, an obstacle course for the squirrels. Because <laughs> the, the squirrel doesn't want to get dabbed, you know. And then we have pictures, actual pictures from Becky. The email was signed Becky, Izzy, and Mr. Nuts the squirrel. See, they so, named their squirrel. Everybody's getting along in this family. So this is Izzy, I believe, looking out at Mr. Nuts. And look, they, they laugh. I mean, it, it appears that everything's fine. Now she puts little stones in the tops of her flower pots so the water can drain down, but mm -hmm. the squirrel doesn't dig in there. Oh. Uh, and then we have some video of uh, the squirrel as well that she sent in. So you can see the squirrel in action. And this is a well-fed squirrel. Adorable. This is much chubbier than the one in my backyard. Now, David, have you just thought about just getting the picnic table already? Just uh, get the squirrel I think, table. I think at this point, yes. I, let's just do it for you, and let's just see what happens. Yeah, and then we'll set up a camera and share it with all of you. I think this is necessary. We've reached okay. this point where I think you just need to purchase the thing, you know? All right, got to do it.